What's going on everybody, E10 here with another video, and today we're going to be doing some Grey Cat Rock Mining. And I know it's not PvP, but still, it, it's a good way to earn a lot of cash. Pretty quickly too, you can make like, what, mm, I'd say 200k an hour. With bounty hunting, I mean, still, you can make 200k an hour. But, yeah, I I like PvP, yes, but not PvE. PvE is boring. So let's do rock mining, which is a little more exciting, which sounds a little, very strange. So let's get to it. We are at the ship terminals, and we are going to be using my Trait Cutlass Black. Here it is. There it is. Well, we're not going to pull it out just yet, because I took the weapons off it because I needed them for my arrow, and I'm going to deck it out with some Mantis GT Gatlings. Let's see how many I can even put on there. Oh my goodness. Okay, there it is. Um, let's wait. So there's this weird bug, right? Well, let's see it, because if it is... Yeah, look, 128 Mantis GT Gatlings. Jeez, that's a lot. Oh, this is the turret. Mm, they're all empty, because I took them off. There we go, that should be all of them. One, two, three, four, yep. Save changes and equip, wait for that little exclamation point to go by. There we go. Let's get out to the hangers and check it out. Well, here it is, Drake Cutlass is black. <laughs> Drake Cutlass is black. <laughs> Drake Interplanetary's Cutlass Black. This thing has won best in show, like what, two years in a row? So it's pretty beast. And if you're enjoying all this new content, I'd like you to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Oh yes, <laughs> two massive VTOL engines. So accelerating or deaccelerating should be no biggie. We can. We have a turret, four size three mounts. So yeah, they're pretty good actually. <laughs> PVP combat wise, they're decent. I'd rather use a Cutlass Blue though for PVP. Let's call the, who is it, whatever their names are. Oh, yes. The Green Bay Imperial Landing Services. Or Green Imperial Landing Services. Left. No, 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 no. Okie dokie. We're going to go mining on Damar. Oh, up. Because Damar actually is decent for mining, actually. Oh, come on. What's up with that? Why am I just like dragging on the ground? No gravity, let's go. Today, Mars. 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 Ah, oh, yes. The dustiest planet in the history of dust. Uh, where are we going now? Ooh, our court? No, that's not in the daylight kind. Where's Shubin? Please be in the daylight. This might be it. No, that's Tandem Plains. Let's try Art Court Mining Area 141 because that's probably our best bet. We have returned, everybody. You probably can't tell, but this is a very different Cutlass Black. Um, I crashed into the like the dunes, I guess, and I exploded. So this is an entirely different cutlass. Let's land, get the rock out, and go for a mining expedition. As you can see, there are a ton of these normal rocks, but I don't own a prospector, so I can't mine them yet. I'll buy a prospector in game one day, I guess. After 3.13 though, because I don't want to kind of waste my AUEC on it just yet. Let's land, get out, Go get our little mining vehicle. Welcome everybody to the Grey Cat Rock. Nothing special about it, this little cargo bay. Yeah, you can open it, close it, you know, not much. Looks like a little forklift to me. You got your little mining arm that you can't really do much with. I mean, of course you can mine. You can also kill things and people with it. <laughs> 
get it on. It is ridiculously fast for how small it is, though. Okay, let's get in the back of the caddy and then let's go mining! Oh my goodness, guys, look at that! It's a huge Mercury Star Runner landing on the pad. Why? I don't know. He's probably gonna do the same thing I am. Look. Yeah, see, look, there's a Grey Cat Rock. Hmm. Okie dokie, let's just hope he don't steal anything great. Uh, 5k over there, 4k over there. Hold on, I just saw another something. Oh, they're just rocks. Okie dokie, we're gonna head off in this direction, hoping that we can find something, because let's go. Oh, look, everybody, we found... <laughs> I was about to say, we found one! Nope, not in a million years. So this planet's more for like, Ooh. never mind, we have found one, look. So these are the smaller looking boxes. They are meant for our little vehicles, the Grey Cat Rock. Let's see, what type of rocks do we have? Wait, where'd they go? Yeah, literally 69 meters down there. We got three little rocks. Let's scan them. Or that works too. <laughs> we landed. Let's go get the rock out of the back. I think so people with their little like hand tools I think can come down mine them with their little hands so that white bar with the 12% thing that is my laser intensity so that's how much power is being put into that little laser and see the other side where there's a giant red bar you want to keep that little line that's slightly going up into the green if you go too far it'll go into the red and you don't want that because it'll overheat and then it'll just make it explode. So that's not good. Let's get this rock mined, even though it's a hand mineable one, I think. Ooh, that's not bad. Look at all that. Get up, get, that's one down. One more to get. That was that. Now let's pack this guy up. Head out to another little mining location. What the <laughs> what in the world is that? I just moved like a million kilometers in like three seconds. <laughs> I... Uh oh, nope, nope, turn that off, turn it off! <laughs> Like, 
meant for what we have in the back currently. So they're not going to be too small nor too big. Holy moly's. Oh, my landing gear will already get out. It always scares me when I can't see the ground because then I don't know where it is. Bing. Yeah, a landing complete. That was like the roughest landing I've ever done. At least we we have four mantis. So at least if things get hairy, we can defend ourselves. Against the ground. <laughs> That's not happening anytime soon. Let's get in the rock. It looks like a bobcat. You know those little bobcats they use for who knows what? Like what do they use them for exactly? Oh. Look how big they are. There's two of them only. But these will give a ton of materials. They're too small to be hand mined. Too big, too small for a cross. Wait, did I taste too small for a hand? They're too big for a little hand mineable. Too small for a prospector. Just right for one of these little dudes. But we gotta get close to it, kind of. Okay. This thing's gonna give a lot more, like, cargo, I guess, than uh, a normal thing. It is 94% F4, right? 5.75, 5, five oh, whatever. 5% inert materials, which means that's bad if you want to refine them, I think. So we're gonna get, like, what, five, maybe three deposits of rocks, and then we'll head out back to Port Alisar and we can sell these bad boys for a really good price, in fact. Like, I once got a small load of Aphorite, two Hadonite rocks. Two Hadonite rocks is worth a ton of money. Like, whoa, look at all that. Let's get it. All of it. We must get all the gems. We're literally just sucking them up with their tractor beam thing. I don't understand why it does that look. <laughs> Let's mine this. Oh, this one's 20% inert material. That's not good. But hey, 79.97% at full rate? I'll take it, man. Actually, while I was doing some bounty missions, I found some quantanium. Which, if you didn't know, like one SCU of quantanium is worth like a hundred thousand dollars or AUECs so it's gonna be good I want CIG or Cloud Imperium games or whatever you want to call them the developers once they fix like bounty and make it less boring I'll start doing that for y'all cuz find out bounty hunting is not that fun or PVE people call it because yeah PVP is player versus player so I would be facing off against somebody else PVE is not, no, it's just you against AI. Not fun. Okie dokie, this rock should pop right right now. Wait, what? No, that's not fair, Mr. Rock. <laughs> You're supposed to explode. Yes, explode now. I'm always scared from doing mining because 30Ks, if you didn't know, are something that you get, it's like a little error code. They've been in the game for as long as I've been playing. It's not, it's not good. No, nobody likes it. Okay. Oh, there's one gem right there. Boop, okay. Let's get in the back of the cutlass and head more rocks. We are in the Grey Cat Rock. Look right in front of us. Oh goodness, we found some more rocks. They are called Dolevine, I think. Let's check. Uh, yes. Dolevine. More Dolevine. Nice. Oh, no, we're not gonna extract. Just extract the entire rock of these things. That would be pretty neat, though. Okay. Let's get this thing charged up and cut into tiny little gems, shall we? Baboosh. Look at all of those! That was a lot of gems. You know, let's get more.
jump into the van thing. I, what do you guys want to call it? Cut and Splack. The rock carrier. Let's get one more little place and then we'll go back, sell, and we'll call it a day. This little mining trip probably will earn us around 80 to 100k. Believe it or not, that's how much it is. And I've been going, what, 40 minutes? That's how long it's taking me? That's, a, that's pretty decent. Okay. If you're ever getting started, though, I would recommend either the Nomad or the um, of Aegis Avenger type. If you want to go the bounty hunting career path, which is kind of, I do a mix. Um, if you want to do the bounty hunting career path, I would recommend the Aegis Avenger type. Three size three mounts, either that, one gimbaled size three, two gimbaled size twos, or one fixed size four gun, two mounted fixed size three weapons. So if you want to go bounty hunting, uh, I recommend that. But if you want to go, say, mining, right? I would definitely recommend the, what's it called, Nomad. Consolidated Outlands Nomad. It, it kind of has the same weapon mounts, but not really. Please be some hat and I, because I really need some. A for it. Meh. I'll take anything. How am I gonna get there? You know, we're not gonna do that one. That one's very complicated. But just do note that if you want to start off mining, that the mining vehicle itself costs 175000 Oh, we got here. How did I? Boys! It will fall, but... That is the most expensive rock. Those two rocks cost 60,000, believe it or not. Two, two rocks, 60K. We're gonna get out, we're gonna harvest those as best as I can, then we're gonna head back, sell, and you'll see the rest. Let's get this guy out. Come on, Mr. Gray Cat Rock. Zzzt, boosh. Let's ride. Look at the beautiful frogs. Ooh, I have an idea. So let's get behind them. So when they start falling, we can like catch them. Unless, imagine if we parked our cutlass like behind it so the rocks just like tumbled in or something. That would be fun. But to no, we're not doing that. Not that risky. Okay, let's start mining. This will put me over 2,200,000, so that's good. Mine faster, little dude. They really need to come out with some different mining heads for this, because this is painful. Yes, this is painfully slow sometimes. But if you're just getting started and you want to start mining, I head to like uh, any Agley Point location, pick yourself up, a gray cat mining tool to start mining but you need to go f for caves for that caves i like to go one personally on aberdeen near hurston because that's like it's easy and it's gonna be filled with to the brim with rocks i mean unless you want to go mining in prison which i highly doubt you do why am i turning this is not fun Stay. Still. Still. No. I'm not giving up on you, Hadonite Rock. No. Not in a million years. We're gonna have to switch over pretty quick if you want to, like, mine it, you know, because it's gonna, it's on a slope, so it's gonna slippy slide down. I think it's really hard to find commentary what to say because it's not really the most exciting thing ever, I guess. Oh, no wonder. It's unstable. It's an unstable rock. So that's what's happening because it's just like over 
shooting the mining target. Really, this is stay. Never giving up. Well, I guess I'll see when this darn thing is mined. Cause it's gonna take a year to be honest. We got it. We got it. We got it, guys. Mine, 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 mine. You're less unstable, so we're good in here. Okay, nobody's on the radar. It's in the top corner, probably blocked by my face. <laughs> on my mining trips, I usually like to get some hat and I, because they're, yeah, they're, they're a lot of money. Mine you up. We'll head back. This one. Extract. Extract them all. No. Don't ask questions about what just happened. Got 226 bits of it. And they're also scattered everywhere. I don't know what's up with it saying that there's a ladder like a million kilometers away or more. Well. That's fine, I guess. We got some Hadonite, and a some I mean like 40 SCUs of cargo. So we're gonna pack our bags, call it a day. Okay, let's get out, get into the vehicle. Well, not the vehicle. Let's get in the ship. And then I'll head over for Port Alistar. Nobody better target me just because I did this, because people hate miners. They come in, they sneak in, they're like doo 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 doo. And then they come in, kill you, and they can steal your cargo. Come on. Beep beep. Moving the rock. Rico Literary Pablaka is requesting combat assistance. Well, I'm sorry, but I cannot help you right now. We don't have to take anything out of the thing. Just leave everything there, it's fine. Let's go. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm paranoid right now. So I'm gonna go get out, check for any intruders, any crevice, any seat. Hello, intruders? Are you any in here? No beds, no turret. Let's go. We are honestly safe. We're safe from anybody who would want to kill us for our precious cargo. Huh? Get on out of here, boys. And if you would like, leave the comment section below. Please tell me what I can get for shields on this, because this is mostly going to be my mining ship, so this is what I'm going to use for mining. So if anybody in the comments knows, can I, can you please notify me on what shields to probably get for mining expeditions? So, thank you, I guess? I don't know. Let's head over to Kamarai. Okay, DM2, or OM actually. They're not Ds, they're Os. Orbital marker it stands for. Because this is weird, like, your little pointer thing is down there, then your quantum actual thing is up there. I just don't get it. Makes no sense. Okay, two portola star, star, star. Everybody, we are here, and I'm terrified. There's a bad guy, and he's in an arrow. Please, no! Armistice, 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 armistice. Thank you. Slow down. No! He's gonna start shooting. Please, no. No. I beg. I beg for mercy. I beg for mercy. Okay, why is there two people here? There's three! Yes, get them turrets. Get them real good, even though I know you can't hit a single shot because you're trash. Okay, we should be safe. Oh look, a Mercury. I didn't know they could fit on there. 
need I get? I should have my rock in the back. Imagine if it just fell out. Like, uh oh, I'm not, no, not doing that today. Let's get inside. So this car. Whoa, look at that! That's a screenshot and a half right there, boys. I was wondering if my cat was under here. Whoa, look! That's the Aegis of Ender Titan. There it goes. Man, Port Alasar is busy today, boys. Here we are at the administration desk. Welcome to Port Alasar. Touch screen to start. Select a location to sell from. Had a night, 14K, baboosh. That alone will put us over 200K. Processing order, thank you. 52 units, Dolivine, 9K. Two rocks, not bad. At full right, now how much do you think that's gonna be worth? Look, 220 already. No wait, no wait, not 220, never mind. At full right, 15K. We made around 30, 60k ish. Pays for most things, I guess. Wait, I still have more? More. Sell it all. Imagine if it sells it for more. Probably gonna go like, nope. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, leave a like, subscribe, do all that stuff, share. See you in the next one.